This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that As Time Goes By is among the best sitcoms ever. Do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Janet Hanfrey played the character Mrs. Bell in the sitcom when she was 58 in 1993. See, at 88 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Hampshire, England. Well, you're early. We're my father and match. That's just it. I've lost them. Lost them? <laughs> what do they do, for heaven's sake? Jump out of the He does it with one woman of a suitable age after another. And he is remarkably successful, and it becomes... John Sims played the character Match in the sitcom when she was 64 in 1993. Sadly, on June 27, 2001, she left us due to liver failure at the age of 71 in Chelsea, London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Parking miles away for some silly man in a silly hat. We'll sort him out. You're not going to offer him a bribe? Certainly not. We think of... Cargo, and that's how I met him in the rehearsals of uh, the Royal Command show. And he subsequently asked me, invited me to dinner at his house. Jeffrey Palmer played the character Lionel Hardcastle in the sitcom when he was 65 years old in 1992. Sadly, on November 5, 2020, he left us due to an illness at 93 in Lee Common, Buckinghamshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Yeah. Why? He wanted to know if I was snogging. <laughs> with whom? Uh, there was a young couple in there before. Going back in time with this as well. Absolutely. And apparently this is because uh, the British Legion requested this for some people who hadn't got around to CDs. Philip Bretherton played the character Alistair Deacon in the sitcom when he was 37 in 1992. See, at 68 years old, he's living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in Lancashire, England. Look, I can't make the public buy it, but uh, a bit of hype, uh, pick me up and buy me cover, and who knows? Just pick me up and buy me cover. It's photograph To a proper conclusion. Viewers were left asking, whatever happened to Miss Farnaby? That question has been one of British comedy's greatest mysteries. But we now... Fidelis Morgan played the character Dorcas in the sitcom when she was 44 years old in 1996. See, at the age of 71, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Amersbury, UK. Clusers? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. That, well, that's very true. Well, please don't think this an indelicate question, but uh, you did know we were coming. Um, I love the Sistons Theatre. I first came to see the Sits in 1973. I still have an original. Judy Dench played the character Jean Hardcastle in the sitcom when she was 58 in 1992. See, at 89 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in York, England. Well, something is what he kept saying. Unless, of course, you use all those words like pizzazz and chutzpah, which you claim not to understand. Thank you. Pizzazz and chutzpah. You know, he, he, um, I don't know, I, I completely forgot anyway. Mm. I completely forgot. I was given the most beautiful clothes to wear. Moira Brooker played the character Judith in the sitcom when she was 35 in 1992. See, at 67 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Surrey, England. Now, since when have you ever thought long term? A guy gets older, Judy. Even me. <laughs> anyway, you shouldn't judge someone. Across in black dresses and fishnet tights and long black gloves, we had the sound men and the gaffers, and they were all there. So the picture looked like they were all dressed like this, which they all thought was very funny. Moira Fraser played the character Penny in the sitcom when she was 70 years old in 1993. Sadly, on December 13, 2009, she left us due to breast cancer at 86 in England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Hello, Penny. Is everything all right? Stephen's playing with his new car. Hello, Jean. How are you? Mm. <laughs> oh, you look rather pale. Oh, it's... 
Jenny Farnell played the character Sandy in the sitcom when she was 29 in 1992. See, at 60 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Nairobi, Kenya. Have a flick through. Oh, well, that's a start. <laughs> May I go to lunch now? Yes, of course. I shall never look at. Tim Wilton played the character Low Ferris in the sitcom when he was 56 in 1996. See, at 83 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Bangor on Dee, UK. Years ago, she got a bit tipsy in the pub one Christmas and lost her leg as she walked home. <laughs> oh, what? A car accident? No, 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 it was a wooden leg, you see. Frank Middlemass played the character Rocky Hardcastle in the sitcom when he was 74 in 1993. Sadly, on September 8, 2006, he left us of natural causes at 87 in Northwood, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Pleasure's all mine. I can quite see why Lionel was gaga about you. See you at the wedding, Father. Oh, rather. I'm thinking of... Paul Chapman played the character Stephen in the sitcom when he was 54 in 1993. See, at 85 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in London, UK. Sorry, I didn't say hello. Hello. You look very pretty. <laughs> He's good for morale, this man. Yes, he is. Uh, old pens in the loo. Oh. David Michaels played the character Harry in the sitcom when he was 33 years old in 1997. See, at 59 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Manchester, UK. Want to see him play rugby? No, I meant long term. Now, since when have you ever thought long term? A guy gets older, Judy. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in As Time Goes By? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.